You guys made it! It's so good to see you! How have you been? Oh good, well, I've been doing well. I've just actually been working on my brand new tree house here. What do you think? I figure it makes the perfect art studio and fort, and it has an amazing view. Well, earlier you caught me trying out my brand new ukulele. Normally I play my guitar, which is a whole lot bigger. Look at that, a whole lot bigger. And some of the major differences is this one has six strings and they're steel strings. It's a lot bigger, but it also sounds a little different. Whereas the ukulele only has four strings and the four strings are plastic or nylon and it sounds totally different. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, I feel like drawing, but I need to figure out what to draw. I got it. Let's draw my ukulele. How fun would that be? Do you wanna draw it with me? Awesome, okay, let's get started. All you're gonna need is a clean sheet of paper, a nice sharp pencil, an eraser, a dark marker or a pen, and of course, something to color with. All right, so you have all your tools. Let's go ahead and get started. The first part of the ukulele that I want to draw is the main part, which is the body of the ukulele. That's what has the hole, and that's where all the sound comes out of. So it's kind of a funky little peanut shape, but the easiest way to draw funky looking shapes is by breaking it down into simpler shapes. So we're gonna start with two ovals. Let's do one oval right here like this, and then we'll draw a bigger oval below it, right like this. There we go. Now don't, don't worry about it being perfect, we're just sketching. So now all we have to do is connect the lines. We'll go around this curve, and we'll kind of go in, and then we'll go back out, and connect up with this curve right here. See, it's not too hard, huh? And then we'll do the same thing on this end. You kind of come around that curve, go in, and then come back out. And we'll match it up right there, and then we'll just kind of finish off our edges, round them off to make it look however you'd like. Luckily for us, ukuleles come in all different shapes and sizes and colors that we can kind of have a little bit of liberty playing around with this. All right, so the next part is the head, or the headstock of our ukulele, and that's where all the tuner pegs are. So first, maybe what we'll do is let's draw a light Let's draw a light line right down the middle, really light, straight up. We need to know where the middle of this is so we can make it symmetrical, which is the same on both sides. If you went like this, it looks the same as if you looked on this side. So, let's say the top of the, the head stock, or the head, is gonna go right about here. And then we'll kind of make a line going down here, make a line going down here, and maybe a little diagonal one. This is really up to you. You can make it whatever shape, whatever shape you'd like. And I might make it a little bit thicker because I want that neck to be thicker too. Okay, it's looking pretty good. All right, so now let's connect the head with the body by putting it on a neck, just like people. Let's put on a neck. And the neck of your ukulele has frets on it. Frets are those little lines, those little metal lines that are on the neck that you press, you press the string onto to make different chords and it makes the sounds be different. So it's kind of like uh, keys on a keyboard and you have the little frets on there. So let's add those real quick. So we'll add just a few little frets on here. Otherwise you can't play it. And then we'll kind of fix that head a little bit. It needs to move over. Now that we've finished the neck, clean that up a little bit. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So this looks like we have the basic shape of our ukulele, but we're missing some details. We did put the frets on there, but we also need to put the, the hole in the middle. That's the sound hole. So all the, sound, all the vibrations of the strings, when you strum them or you pluck at them, those vibrations go inside and then they amplify as they come out that hole. So it kind of resonates inside the body and then it amplifies out the hole and it gets it that really cool rich sound. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So just draw a little circle right in the middle there. And then down here we need to add what's called the bridge. This is where your strings connect from the head all the way down to the bottom here of the body. It's called the bridge. 
and there's little pegs there that will hold the rest of your, your strings in place. What else do we have? Oh, the pegs. Speaking of the strings, we need to put the pegs up here. So these little pegs that you have right here, they could be little ovals or circles. You can make those whatever you want. I'm going to draw those right on the side there. And when you twist those, you can change the sound of the string. And then, of course, it needs to have a little peg or a little, yeah, I guess peg right here <laughs> that the string connects to. And last but not least, we need to add those strings. So let's do one going down here. One down there. Now there's four total. Like I said, most guitars have six. Some have up to 12 strings. And I've played one before and it sounds super cool. All right, so we made our ukulele. But we do need to clean up a few things before we go to the next step. So I brought my large eraser. You can use the eraser in the back of your pencil if you'd like. But I'm going to go through and erase some of these, these major lines here that I'm not going to need. I just use those to kind of figure out the shape, right? I wanted to use the, those other ovals to help me create my peanut shape for the body. But I don't need it anymore. And I want to erase them before I forget. So now I'm just going to go through it and erase all the lines that I don't need. All right, so for done sketching, it's time to move on to our outlining with a black marker. But make sure you're happy with your sketch before moving on to this part because the next part is permanent and right now you can still erase things and fix things. So if you have changes, make them now. Guess who else loved to play the ukulele? Astronaut Neil Armstrong. You know, the first guy to walk on the moon? I wonder if he ever played in space. That'd be pretty cool. Now there's a couple details that I forgot to put in there when I was sketching and I can add those now. Basically I just wanted to add the little pegs down here that hold the strings in place. I'll just do little dots right there. And then also I want to make sure I put the strings coming down from the pegs. It's not the most important thing but it'll also make it look a little bit more, more real. But before I move on to the coloring, one last little thing I need to do is just probably clean up all this extra sketching underneath here. Erase all the pencils so that it doesn't get in the way of my coloring. I think we're ready to start coloring and I'm going to use markers, but you can use whatever you want to color yours in. In fact, you can color in your ukulele with whatever color you want because they come in any color imaginable. So have fun. I always thought the ukulele was from Hawaii because it's so popular there. But in fact, it came from Europe. Who knew? All right, there's the last little detail on the tuning peg, and I think I'm finished. Oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. This part was kind of tricky right here. Um, you could probably use like a white marker pen or a like paint pen to kind of cover over that. Um, but I actually just left a little bit of that white next to the line that I already drew, just so you can still see that the strings are there. It would work just as fine without it, but. Uh, I'm happy with how this turned out. I love it. I did a little wood grain on here too to make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, overall, I think this is a whole lot of fun to draw. And because I'm proud of what I made, and you should be proud of what you made, we need to sign our names on every piece of art that we do. There you go. Now it's officially finished. And there we have it. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. Hopefully you had fun too. And if you want, you can take a photo of your drawing and you can have your parents send it to me. I'd love to see your ukuleles. And I'll make sure to share it so everyone else can see it too. Well, thanks again, and remember... Be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. I'll see you next time.